full time highlights. Third place playoff. And it guns getting into the thick of things. Still on the wing with a wonderful delivery to Shea Smith. Just earlier, he was thrown offside, but this one was perfectly onside. And look at the header. Kemar Foster waving, but nothing to do about that one. One nil front at guards. Shea Smith would have some more moments. Here he came again. This time, whipped it across. Fabian Reed unable to bring it on target. Was miscued and Dixon trying to cover up. But that one went straight to Foster. What a wonderful delivery. And Jaheim Dorman didn't have a lot of starts in this Waterhouse lineup. But what a time to start. What a time to deliver on the big scene. Lovely delivery. And Asher Hutchinson unable to keep that one out. One all at that mo moment. There was more glory. Or glorious opportunities, that is. Reed to Dixon. On that right-hand side, he was a menace in both halves. Shea Smith just... I'm not sure how he missed that one. And had it been that Arnett Gardens didn't win, it would have been a nightmare remembering that. Second half action now. As the half started, Dixon with magic able to beat the defender. And Kemar Foster only looking back to see the net bulging. Look at the skill on that one. Beautiful Nevada Blair had a tumultuous time trying to keep Kain Dixon at bay. And there was no stopping the 19-year-old, formerly of Clarendon College. They came forward once more. Dixon in the thick of things. Laying it off for Shepard. And Shepard would find Captain Fantastic Fabian Reed. Back on target. What a season he's had. Returned in December. And he had early Christmas then and kept on giving gifts. Fabian Reed. Beautiful play this time from Dixon to Shea Smith. And he was able to get his second goal. After that miss in the first half, no missing that. And look at the intelligence of Dixon just to run in behind the defenders and lay it on a platter. It was really well worked. A good team goal for Arnett Gardens. Befitting of a Super Sunday. Pentecost Sunday. And that was fire. It wouldn't stop. It really wouldn't stop for Arnett Gardens. Kelsa came on. Arboine unable to get the damage done. But he could. He really could. Kahim Dixon. Easy and calm as you like. Arboine sc scuffed his lines. But there was no mistake. The toe poke finish. Bring you back to 2002. R9 with a toe poke. Roll on. He was on a roll. What a great performance from Arnett Gardens. Xavier Gilbert's men have delivered third place and Caribbean Cup football on the cards for them. Here's their full-time statistics. Two shots on target from 12 attempts for Waterhouse. 10 from 14 for Arnett Gardens. Talk about accuracy. There were 15 fouls and 9 to Arnett Gardens. They had two yellow cards. Waterhouse only had one. Two upsides to Arnett Gardens. They had three corners. Waterhouse dominating with four. Five saves made by Kemar Foster and Arnett Gardens having the line share possession 57% and five goals hammering Waterhouse for third place. Beautiful scenes here as we stand by for the man of the match interview. Yeah, Dixon, I mean, you're a commentator's dream. I mean, I was on the call in the Dacosta Cup and I kept on my feet. You kept me on my feet today. I mean, just what is it with you on these big days, these big games? You know, it's nothing really personal. All, all I do was come out on the day and perform. I mean, it would have been a big disappointment not getting to the finals. And I know you played your heart out in that second leg semi-final. How was it that you were able to pick yourself up for this one? You know, I go home, prepare mentally and come back and tell the team, tell the lads that, hey, we can make it to the Caribbean, Caribbean Shield. Yeah, I mean, again, 
that signature move of yours always seems to work. Fake to shoot with the right foot, it's on the left. Talk me through those goals. You know, it's coming from the training ground. Once I hit the inside, I'll jog it and use my other foot kicking to inside the net. In terms of, I saw you go down at the latter part of the game, but before that, I saw you paying some attention to your knee. What happened there? You know, it's nothing, nothing that to worry about, you know. I, it will be work and by the physio, you know, yeah. Well, great game from you. Long may it continue. Bright future ahead of you, Kaim. Love watching you play. Thank you very much. Yeah, there you have it. Player of the game, Kaim Dixon. From schoolboy football to the Jamaica Premier League, he continues to do his stuff. Unable to beat Water, to, to beat Arnett Gardens this season, it continued. It did score against them. Where did it get away from you? Um, I mean, it's a tough one. I mean, congrats to Arnett Gardens. I mean, it's a brilliant season for us. I mean, um, you know, look where we're coming from, look where we are now. I mean, I'm proud of the guys. Them. I mean, today we want to go out with a bang, but unfortunately we did it. But we, 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 we give thanks and um, we, we see some things today that we can build going forward. I mean, there's a lot of chances we create today, but unfortunately, you know, poor shoot in front of the goal. I think that cost us um, from first to, to, to fourth um, this season. Yeah, certainly it did. But in terms of what you've seen, I suspect you'll continue to be at the helm at, at, at Waterhouse. A um, lot that you've seen positively to build on, apart from those stuff looking to bring in some young players? Most definitely. I mean, for now, we just want to um, you know, go and assess the season back and um, do some, um, some, some reflections and, 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 and I mean, in and out of the players. Then, because as I say, we have some young players I mean, just bred in the Premier League. Uh, I think we, we, we were in the game for, for most part. I mean, you know, with us last concentration and in those vital moments, you know, when you, you, you won, you won, you won one zero and you come back one all and in the game and, and that, you know, if you can't see that goal there, I think that's great momentum. But we should have stand, stand a little bit more and develop a little more discipline and put a little bit more fight behind it. But ends is the game. I, I can't let you leave without asking you about Brian. You've worked with him, watch his rise, coming up into the Premier League. Oh, oh, oh happy it is for you to have watched this rise and be a part of it with J J Javain Brian. Um, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's what we're here for. And if I said um, I do anything for it, then then so be. But um, he's a wonderful kid, and I just wish him all the best. And you know, hopefully, just use this experience to garner more and get better next season. Well, all the best for next season, coach. Thanks. Yeah, there we have it, Marcel Gale, not getting that third place, not getting that Concacaf Caribbean Cup spot. But Xavier Gilbert's team was on show today. Where was this performance in the second leg of the semi-final, Xavier? <laughs> I mean, I'm um, happy that we, we, we managed to put some pieces together today and get some goals and, and, and win the game. Yeah, in terms of the game here, you were much better in the second half. What was the team talk like in that halftime break? Because you missed a host of chances. I mean, yeah. First, I mean, um, we weren't doing... There are some things that we, we wanted to do um, last week. We didn't get it done. And I remind them, you know, we have to do it in this game. And second half, I think we, 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 we got it done. We had some third man runs when we played the ball forward, the head getting behind. And I didn't think the Waterhouse um, defense handled it very well, you know, and, and, and it paid dividends for us. There was a triangle that was always present. We spoke to one of those players in it, in Shepard and Thomas. They were, I mean, Shepard and Thomas were good. Shepard was really good. And until Kaim Dixon scored that second, there was a toss up for who was the player of the game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was very good. And um, there are some things that we asked him to do, and he delivered today. I must, I must give him credit. I mean, I gave him some sticks at the start of the game and told him that, you know, I must threaten him, that he, he has to deliver today, or else I'm going to pull him out early. You know, and um, I must give him credit and, and thank him for his performance today. All in all, a good season for Arnett, you'd say. And, and, and does that mean Xavier Gilbert continues on? I hope so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, um, but um, uh, you know, we just have to prepare now for the um, Caribbean Cup Championship. Um, let them enjoy this moment. Get a, get, I mean, probably one or two weeks, get, get, get a couple of weeks off for sure. And um, then we'll put things in place and see, and see how things go. Well, coach, good season, all the best. Yeah, man, and I just want to thank the fans and um, the club for giving me this opportunity. Enough love. All right.